Hey. Hi there. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So it's Friday. It's summer. I thought people, you know, might need a little change of pace. So I thought, hey, instead of me writing a bunch of words and making people, you know, read, I thought maybe it'd be more fun for people to listen and laugh at us. <laughs> okay. You into that idea? <laughs> so in thinking about what I wanted to talk about today, I uh, started thinking about all of the different responses I've gotten for our daily questions. Just to catch people, catch people up about this, we're asking daily questions every day on social media um, about Duran Duran and people's preferences with the band um, leading up to Duran Duran Appreciation Day. So in kind of going through the responses, I've noticed a few things. One, I noticed that people need some clarification about what some of the questions mean. Specifically, what is a B-side and what is a demo? Okay. So let's tackle those first. So, right. Rhonda, how would you define a B-side? Okay. So I know that in today's digital world, this right. doesn't exist as often, so I'll explain it. Um, if you had a 45, you know, a, mm -hmm. a 45, like a record album, uh, one of the smaller ones, right? Um there's an A-side, which typically has the radio edit single on it, and then the B-side. Right. And the B-side either could be like a remix of something that wasn't included on the main album, right. or maybe it's a song that we've never heard before. Right. And so when you and I are referring to B-sides, that's what we're talking about. So a good example that I love is um, on the Union of the Snakes single, um, the B-side was Secret October. And that was the only way you could get Secret October was to buy that 45 of Union of the Snake. It was an ingenious way, really, to get to help kind of boost sales because a lot of fans might have said, "Well, I don't need to buy Union of the Snake because I have Seven and the Ragged Tiger, but I want Secret October, and so now I have to buy the yeah. single." So, and just so we don't get mail about this because I'm expecting it, um, I have the 33 and the third, you know, the bigger album of. Union of the Snake, and yes, Secret October was included on the back of right. that as well. Right. The whole point is, is though, you had to buy one of those singles to get it. Correct. Just, yeah, uh, whatever format it came in. Yeah, it doesn't matter the format, because like, remember we were talking about how cassette tapes also have B-sides. Correct, so when they came out with cassette singles. Yeah. Right. So what about a demo? What's a demo? Um, well, there's a lot of different um, definitions for a demo, but like when I think of a demo, I think of something that was changed significantly between, you know, when it was first recorded and the final cut that was on the right. album or something that wasn't even, it never made it to the final um, album. So uh, two good examples that I can come up with are Beautiful Colors and Salt in the Rainbow. Yeah, so from the astronaut era. Yes. Right? But then, you know, there's there's ones that people might have might have heard of. Like, for example, I know Tel Aviv was released on, the demo of that was released as part of the remastered edition of the first album. and. Right. That original demo had lyrics, so that would be an example of one that somebody might mention because obviously it changed significantly from that original recording to what actually it appears on um, the official album. So, mm -hmm. so that's just kind of what we mean by by demo. Right. Hope that hope that clarifies things for people, and uh, you know, so if you can still participate in those questions if you so choose to. So. And want to know where to get a demo yeah because um, some i think there's i've run into people who have now heard some of this stuff yeah tube is a really good resource for that yeah for sure so you can you know pull up stuff that you have, may have never heard before yeah so and i know i did a blog kind of with some of those demos and i'm sure we'll do more of that kind of stuff too in the future mm -hmm. as well yeah so the other things that i'm kind of uh noticing in people's responses um I get, I get one or two kind of things that always sort of make me chuckle. One, I get a response that says, all of them. So when I ask, what's your favorite song, I get people say, all of them. Wow. That's, that's a lot of favorites. That's a <laughs> lot of favorites. Uh, favorite typically in my head means like this one rises above the others. It doesn't mean you dislike the others. It no. doesn't mean, you know. The question it is, it, which, which one do you yeah, which one is your favorite? Which one is above and beyond liking? You love it. You can't live without it. You, you know, get excited when you hear it. It always makes you smile. You play it most often. It's the song you'd want on a desert island. I don't care how you come to that conclusion, but that's kind of what we mean by that. And it could 
be a song that, um, you know, it's like any day could change, right? Right. Our moods change. Yeah. So, you know, it's whatever on that, that particular day is your right. favorite. You know, if it really helps, I always try to use the analogy, if you had the whole catalog in front of you, what song would you pick first on that given day? Right. And, you know, it's okay if it's not, you know, if you say, okay, well, today I would really like to listen to Sirius. But, you know, that's not, I did, wouldn't have ever thought that was my favorite. Mm-hmm. This is not scientific. It's just fun. Right. You know, we take ourselves way, 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 way too seriously sometimes. And so we're just asking you, hey, just have fun with it. It's okay. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. What's the first song that pops in your head? Go yeah, for it. Nobody is gonna don't overthink it. Part away or say, yeah. gosh, you know, I don't like that. It doesn't matter. We're just having fun. Yep, yep. And same thing, you know, like I know that for some people it's really hard to uh, come up with just one. I get it. You know, there's many, you know, and sometimes you're like, well, on some days it's this and on some days it's that. That's fine. And you feel it necessary to pick all of those six or ten or whatever. That's fine. Just know I'm going to count your first one. Not because I dislike all the rest of them or I'm judging them or whatever, just because it's easy for me when I'm compiling the list. And you'll see when I get the, the blog that will be posted on Duran Duran Appreciation Day, it would just be really too hard for me to kind of count all of those. So, like, this person gets seven votes and this other person gets one. Eh. So I don't want to do that. So it's just I'm counting the first one. I'm saying the first one you mentioned must be the one that your gut told you to, to list. So, you know, it's not that I'm being critical. It's just that's no, making it easier. We're being critical. <laughs> Pick a damn favorite. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> So then they'll leave it to Rhonda to just break it down that way. It's just, it's not rocket science and we're not asking you to give away your children. Yeah. Just a favorite. Right, it's right. It's okay. Yep, yep. It's for fun. It's for fun. Yeah. So speaking of fun, I know that this is all leading to our favorite holiday of the year, which is during our Appreciation Day on August 10th. And we got some things planned. I know I talked about things a little bit in a blog last week, but... You know, some people might have missed those. So what do we got? What's happening? Well, on August 10th, which apparently falls on a Monday this year, we are going to have a big listening party. So that means Amanda and I are going to be online for a lot of that day. You all should be very afraid. (laughs) Well, they should be. Um, (laughs) We've been working on um, devising a YouTube playlist for the day, and it's literally going to be a 24-hour playlist. That does not mean we will be online 24 hours because we're not crazy. But, no. um, well, anyway. Um, <laughs> that should be sales. The point is because we know that there are fans worldwide that really want to participate. Last year we had done a viewing party to watch Sing Blue Silver and not everyone could because of work yeah. or family or Time whatever. zones or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they live, you know, on the other side of the planet. And so we're trying to accommodate everyone as best as we can. And so we're doing a 24-hour playlist that will have all of your favorites, maybe some gems that you haven't seen before. Um, We're going to try to devise a a drinking game for those who wish to participate. The whole point of it really is just to have a great time. Um, So you'll see, you know, we'll devise a hashtag. We'll be on Twitter. We'll be on Facebook. You know, so I'm going to do a Facebook event page as soon as I can get a chance that it gives all the information. So definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, and you can obviously always find any information about anything that we're doing on our blog, on our website, dailydurani.com. So, um, you know, check it out there, and uh, obviously we'll be around, and uh, we hope that everybody has a fabulous weekend. Yes, happy weekend, everyone. And happy reading and happy listening and all that good stuff. So, bye. bye.